It's business tip time. Whether it's marketing, sales, operations, etc., I'm bringing you quick tips across a variety of topics to help elevate your business. Let's get it. Protecting yourself and your business legally is important, but hiring a lawyer can be costly and or intimidating. My friend Karen Deswart solved this problem by founding her practice, Not Your Father's Lawyer. In addition to flat fee legal services, she has legal templates that are plug and play. I used her templates for my podcast guest release and for my coaching services agreement, and it couldn't have been easier. Head to the link in the show notes and get legally legit today. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Corporate Dropout Podcast. Today, we have the queen, Gina DeVee, back on the show. She is the founder of Divine Living, a lifestyle and empowerment brand for women globally, author of The Audacity to Be Queen, an accomplished speaker, and a transformational coach as well as podcast host. So today, Gina is going to be giving us a mini episode, giving us tactical tips on how to build your online community, create a membership, and spread your reach. So with that, Gina, I will kick it over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here. And I am super passionate about this subject of creating an online community membership site app, because I believe that there's so many touch points that every brand needs to have to really nurture your audience so that they can take the full scope and the full journey with you, with your offers. And um, I somewhat recently, I think within the last year, launched what I call the Q Club. It's for all things queen. Um, And I created this particular membership site to really let me have the most expansive self-expression. You know, sometimes in some of my business programs, I felt like I needed to focus on business nuts and bolts and in other things, I needed to focus on different areas. And I just wanted a place for my community to come to experience my expansiveness. And they always teach us the riches are in the niches and we need to dial it down. And that I believe that actually, I think it's important. A membership site and an online community really gives you a global stage and a platform to showcase all of you. Um, because it's at a lower price point, people are less inclined to hesitate. Uh, I'm going to get into some of the tactics of how we've grown it and what we do to make it really easy for people to get in and then what our conversion rates are and how people stay. Um, so I want to be really clear that the what the type of community that I'm doing doesn't have to be yours. And whatever you're excited about, if you're in business, if you're in health, if you're in dog grooming, you can have a membership site in an online community for anything. It's basically you need to have a theme that people are passionate about. And that's what people are going to come and gather around you. People also want a low risk, affordable way to either sample what you've got or to just stay in your community. Maybe somebody has gone through your high-end coaching, your mastermind, your program, and they've they've done that and they're complete with that, but they're not complete with you. And so this gives just a really easy way for people to uh, have that piece of you. Um, What I think is important to create this online community or membership site is that you start with mapping out what you think the ideal is in terms of content format showing up and give yourself permission to change it somewhere along the way because you do not know what you don't know and nor do you need to. I always say a queen has a right to change her mind. However, you will have less unsubscribes and cancellations if you let people know this ahead of time. Psychologically, that's called a pre-frame. And always when you take your audience with you, like when you really invite them to take the journey with you, they're going to be so much more forgiving, appreciative, and feel like they're really a part of it. So when I launched my my Q Club, I wanted a place for me where I didn't have to talk about business. All my programs were business really, like nuts and bolts business. I'm talking modules and checklists and tactical pieces. I wanted a place where I could be more mindset, spiritual, lifestyle, you know, in, in like feminine conversation, um, 
a, a lot more about like the content of my book. And I kind of grappled with it because I was like, well, it's not really a course. And it, and for me, I didn't want a course. I thought that there's, there's awesome, like my friend Boss Babes, that if you want a business membership, like go sign up for theirs. Those, you know, Natalie and Danielle, they're awesome. I just, I was like, what would really be the expression of me? And so I came up with, I wanted a place for women to come and be. And I said, you know, you've gotten great at divine working. What about divine living? And then I did a little focus group. I did test groups. Like I contacted like five of my favorite clients from like all different walks of life. And I was like, so here's my idea. What do you think of this? And I was going to have like a different, I was going to have a video a day, like a 10 minute, like pick me up, that kind of thing. Um, it wasn't meant to be all consumed. It was meant to be like Gina DeVee Netflix. Like you go there when you want something, you don't, it's not like a course that you're going to feel like you're missing out if you like don't catch every module. And then I was like, I was going to have like, motivation Monday and biz tips Tuesday and whatever Wednesday. And they were like, you know, Gina, I can get that from anyone. I can get that from Tony Robbins. And I was like, okay, but well, what do you want from me? They're like, we want things that are more feminine. And I was like, so then I came up with dream, dare, delicious, divine, delightful. So like, I've got to even be more of me. So I created, the, and people told me it was nuts, P.S. They're like, you're going to do a video every day. People are going to get burnt out. They're not going to do it. It's too much work. Well, I went and realized that at first that if I filmed for like three days in a row, that'd be like three months worth of content. So filming once a quarter was pleasurable for me. It did the job, 35 bucks a month. Like, let's, let's do this. So... Um, then we had the idea of creating an app, like having this all be in an app. So there's like a social network plus this kind of Netflixy vibe and people can come and they can get a mastermind partner. They can enter into a forum, they can ship, and then they've got the content from me as well. And, and then, you know, I don't know, a few months, maybe it was even six months in, I, start, I did a live call and I pulled people. I was like, what else do you want? They wanted more of a live element. So we added that. And then more recently... I realized like there's enough talking head videos in there now, me sitting on a couch doing a meditation or a prayer, which they're great, but that's been done. So now I'm doing more day in the life and like literally walking around with a selfie stick and sharing life through my eyes. And whether it was like on a recent trip to Italy, whether it was me hosting a retreat and my people are loving it. And it's, I'm even loving it so much more. It's like, it's even more reality show vibes and it's, it's, it's creative and it's easy and it's not a three day chunk of time. So all of this to say every evolution, what you do to create your online community, every time you share more of you, every time you are just letting your uniqueness come through, whether you're teaching something tactical or whatever your brand is, um, you can let it be an evolution and you're going to see like people are really craving intimacy right now and they're really craving a sense of surprise. And if you can bring both of those through in a low priced membership site, um, you're going to have a raving community of fans that stays in your community. They're going to buy your other stuff. Um, and it's just been a really pleasurable experience. I've done one launch and this kept open enrollment. Um, I think we've got over 700 people in the Q club. Like, you know, we're going to be doing more launches and that kind of thing, but I've just kind of let it grow organically. We do, even though it's $35 a month, there's an annual membership. We do a dollar trial because it's just super easy to like, if I'm in a DM and someone's like, I loved your book. I'm like, yeah, great. If you like all things queen, you want to try out the Q club. Here's the special link for the dollar trial. We have gotten a 78% conversion rate. So I forget what it is. I don't know if it's seven or 10 days, two weeks, whatever that the dollar trial is. And 78% of people renew after that and then stay in. And then we just had our annual memberships renew. So it's a real piece from a business model perspective of consistent income, recurring income, from a community standpoint, it's like they're getting this regular touch point. I've now added a live call just because I actually want to get to know the members more. Um, and so we do a live call once a month. And it's just, it's a really fun um, experience. So 
don't overcommit at the beginning, like do less. And then if you can do more, that's where that sense of surprise can come in. Um, but don't overthink it either. I think it's just, uh, like I said, people are craving intimacy. And if you can create intimacy around a common theme that your community loves, um, they're going to be really grateful. Such good tips. And I need to join the Q Club. I don't know why I'm not in it, especially look at the shirt I'm wearing. Queen support I queens. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, well, good. Gina, thank you so much for doing another episode with us. Before we sign off, can you tell our listeners where they can find you, where they can buy the book and how else they can connect with you? Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, come on over to divineliving.com. You can go to divineliving.com forward slash book to get the book. And if you want to try it out for a whole dollar of the Q Club, well, um, go check it out. You can see, you can download the app. You can see what's going on there. Get some ideas for your own online community. Uh, divineliving.com forward slash club is the special link for a dollar. Perfect. I'll link all that in the show notes too. Gina, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you again. I know you have to run and it's just been a, an honor, truly. Oh, until next time, my love. Thank you for everything. What you track grows. Grow what matters with the 90-day cycle to new habits journal and stay focused on what will move your business forward. Pick up your copy today at 90dayhabits.co and use code CITRO, that's C-I-T-R-O, for 10% off. Thank you so much for listening to the show. If today's episode added value to your life in some way, Please subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share it with someone who needs this. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram and hear how the show has inspired you. So tag me or slide into the DMs. Find me at Corporate Dropout Official or Alessia Citro. That's A-L-E-S-S-I-A-C-I-T-R-O and two underscores. Until next time, remember that you're a badass. Stay focused, stay hungry, and dare to drop out.